Hey, cheerful cheaters, I'm on silent and we're on the air with more Toka 2 Touring Cars. It's another bonus episode of Toka 2 Touring Cars. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, we did four bonus tracks. This time, we're going to do some more. How? Well, I, you know, I haven't been able to unlock them the good old fashioned way. So I have to unlock them the good old fashioned way. What do I mean by that? Well, well. See, back in the days, see, I'd like to say I'm old, I'm not that old, but I'm old. See, I remember in a day when, you know, there was this thing called cheat codes, and, you know, it used to be, you know, you type in something, or you know, put in a button combination or something like that. Nowadays, you know, your cheat code is a, a 16-digit numerical combination. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. Right here in the name, you type in the word double. Cheat mode enabled. You don't have to make it sound so awful, Tiff. But yes, that is cheat mode enabled. And what it does is it unlocks. So here's where we did last. So we did Downtown USA, Lochranach, Castle Bavaria, and uh, Test Track Log. But we have unlocked, and you've noticed some of these uh, missing bonus tracks from last one. We uh, unlocked Alpine Climb. We unlocked Donington Grand Prix. We unlocked Ulton International, which is the full circuit. Oh, uh, Test Track Short. We've uh, already done long. Test Track Oval and Ulton Park Island. See, I told you that Island and International Ulton Park was in this game. It's just a matter of getting there and unlocking it, right? Unlocking it, air quotes. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. Six new tracks unlocked. I figure split them up three and three. And uh, I, I guess since we're here, you want to start with uh, Ulton Park Island? Hang on, let's uh, let's go back. Just a split second. We're only doing three today, so let's pump that up. And we'll uh, do, uh, yeah, we'll do uh, default weather. We'll qualify since i got to figure out the track. I mean, I know most of Ulton Park. I know this is uh, where we go off at um, the, the Foster's Turn back on the circuit. Well, we'll sh I'll show you that, but uh, let's pick a car. Yeah, just want to stick with the Jag for now. Yeah, do the Jag. So, um, below the, I guess, the U and the L, you go straight down, you've got that um, that gravel trap about a third of the way up from bottom. Maybe a quarter of the way up from bottom. Uh, the left, or I guess the turn that goes south here, that takes you towards the island circuit, whereas this part straight across going west, as you're looking at it on your radio dial, the part that's west, that's Foster's. So that there's the one turn that gets you, I think it's Cascades, and it takes you down towards the island hairpin. And past the, I think if you skip the island hairpin, there's another left that takes you towards the international circuit, uh, the full circuit. And then that, you turn back up towards the... Um, Back up towards the rest of the track after that. Well, we'll find that out next time. But this time, we'll to Park Island. All right. So, let's just uh, do one quick ticket down for us out. Now, this should be fun because this is going to be... Did we? Yeah, we did do Ulta Park in the Jag, didn't we? Ah, I should have done with something we haven't... Well, at this point, do I remember what we haven't done Ulta Park with? Uh, but yeah, no, so this will be fun because bad breaks and that hairpin. <laughs> so, we're in the number one drag in British Racing Green. Just to tap the brakes and uh, I turned in too soon. Now here, as opposed to going right, we're going to go left. It is a narrow track. I, I think I took that a lot too slow. And that's what happens when you're just sort of winging. Oh, there's the island terrapin. I missed it. Whoa, jump. Okay, we've missed that. Uh, gone through the chicane that slows people down on the international circuit. Now, we are going to have to take the... Oh. Yep, there's the... I forget what the Knickerbrook chicane is. I think it just might be the Knickerbrook chicane. I was looking at it, I was like, wait, where's where's the chicane? No, I was the I mistook the cutout at Foster's Curve. For the chicane. I 
So I thought, oh, we're just jumping the chicane, and then all of a sudden, no oh, shit, there's the chicane. <laughs> Break at the 150. Not a pretty lap. This is what happens when you don't actually, like, know, one, know the circuit as well as you think you do, and two, uh, you don't really have it. Oh, well, I got the pole anyway. Eh, screw it. Um, what did I say the, uh, the qualifying, uh, seal of excellence time was? That's almost 20 seconds. If it was 20 seconds, I would have thought about giving it there, so. I saw that um, the other day, uh, or I guess a couple of weeks ago, F1 YouTuber uh, Josh Ravel uh, had a uh, Maldonado seal of approval on uh, on his uh, What Happened to Pastor Maldonado vid. As uh, pointed out by a friend of the channel, Marcus12, who also helped conceptualize the uh, Mahavir Ragunathan Seal of Excellence that we use on this channel. So, uh, it was a team collaborative effort, so it's like, oh, I, I recognize that gimmick, Josh. So, hi, if you're watching, hi. Hi. <laughs> I've seen your vids, too. Hi. <laughs> Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery sometimes, though, right? Although... <laughs> I was gonna say, it's, a, it's like, it, it, it's an imitation, it's inspiration, more like. Alright. Three red lights. See, this is imitation. Lights out the way we go! Through. Old Hall, in one piece. Oh, he's breaking early. I'm going to just... Yeah, I got out early because I wasn't sure what he was doing, and he was getting defensive there, so... Yeah. Oh, crap! Hairpin! We did it again! <laughs> well, we've taken the scenic route um, successfully somehow. Now to Foster's Chicane. We're going to break there. Squeeze about a bit. Or not, that's not Foster's Chicane, that's Knickerbrook Chicane. That's Foster's turn, leading it to Knickerbrook Chicane. That was on the, um, stupidly daring side. I will, I will admit on that one, that was not... Whoa, okay. Break it about 150, even though I scrubbed off some speed by using the grass to, uh, slow me down. Of course, the, uh, because this car is so low to the ground, what happens? Well... Because this car is so low to the ground, what ends up happening is that the grass drags on the front bumper. And the extra drag on the nose of the car helps slow it down. Prove me wrong! <laughs> Alright, break it at about the 150. Oh my god, we made this turn. <laughs> Oh, there's my cone. I killed a cone earlier. <laughs> How many laps did I say? I said for five. Oh crap, I missed that. <laughs> it's gonna be an adventurous five laps because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Breathe the throttle, tap the brake because I didn't think the nose was coming around. Sometimes you gotta tap the brake just to set the nose. Get some weight on it so it can cut in. It only took me tr crashing for three straight laps in the jag at Bolton Park Fosters for me to figure out, hey, maybe I want to use the brakes around this track in this car. Let's see what we can learn at Cascades here. Take that in fourth, that's good. See, here, and, and I, I think I alluded to this in a previous video, but break it about 110 and miss it. If I'm going to miss that, I'm going to need to get the external cam. Just to see how much air I catch off of that. So, break it that side. Ah, so the hundreds being covered by the... Oh my god, there's a chicane. Take the scenic route. 
Who doesn't like taking the scenic route? I've been doing that a lot <laughs> in this race. And because, see, I let off the throttle and I wasn't even thinking, it's like, oh, wait a minute, you're going slower because you got a shitty run out of Knickerbrook. That's the great thing about racing games is they look so simple from the outside, but once you actually start playing them, you actually have to really use your brain and constantly be thinking of adjustments. Get past that. Now hit the brake. Nah, I could have left a little longer. I could maybe just tap the brake, set the nose, and 150. Attack that curb so we can go through there relatively safely. Yeah, I was gonna say, I've said in previous videos, it's like there's a difference between break before the hundo. Oop, spin off the curb a bit. Little quarter spin off the curb. No, uh, what was I was saying, yeah, uh, based on the, um, yeah, the, the three difficulties isn't good. That's one thing about, say, like the modern F1 games, or I think, like, Project Cars has it as well. Is that you've got the slider for difficulty, so it's not like one, two, or three. You know, it's like, you know, maybe I'm not quite expert fast, but I'm faster than standard, so let's put it somewhere like two thirds of the way to expert from standard. It's little things like that. And part of the thing is, is I'm trying to learn the tracks. Oh, I missed the, I missed the jump. I'm sorry. I saw the jump coming. I was like, let's do the external cam. No, missed it. Oh, but we could see off to the right there. You could just see everyone coming through. Woo. Caught that spin. I mean, we may as well finish the rest of the race on the uh, chase cam, right? Who doesn't like a chase cam? I've been playing a little, uh, just on the side. Play a little Dirt 4 and a little, uh, Dirt Showdown. And it's one of those things, it's like, in that I could play with the uh, drive with the external cam. It just seems perfectly cromulent, right? And then here, it's like, oh, chase cam. It's like, ah, chase cam, I don't know what I'm doing! <laughs> Need to have my roof cam. Yeah, we're good. So how much should we try on? So oh, there's a bunch of guys that are over half a minute behind, half a lap behind, not a whole lap behind. So I don't know if they've, uh, if we can give them the seal of excellence yet. But oh, look at that! Yes, well, I don't know why it gives me this. I don't know if it's just the cheat mode that lets me. Play it on experts straight away, but we were having this problem the last episode as well. Problem in air quotes, I guess, right? All right, start a race. Uh, single race, but keep the five laps. What else do we want to do today? Uh, oh, let's pick a car. Because we want, because I want to do, I want to do test short and uh, the um, uh, Alpine climb, was it? Uh, let's see. If you were to take something around test track, what didn't I do in the last one? Didn't do the AC super blower. I know that. We'll do green's bad luck. Let's do. Did I do the red or the blue last time? I feel like red's a good cut. Red's a color I like, so let's go with that. Uh, so yeah, you've got your test track short. And sunny, sunny Bolton, apparently. And then I want to do Alpine Climb, which is the French Alps. This is a curiosity. Nope, not color. Uh, Grand TDR J. I'm just, it's in the French Alps, so I'm just thinking, oh yeah, there's a Renault. Okay. I was like, and a Peugeot. Oh. Okay. So there's a couple of, I was thinking, wait, there's, there's, I know there's French cars in this game, but what are they? This is a Peugeot and the Renault. So yeah, we'll take, we'll take these guys, one of these guys. Man, we'll take the Peugeot just for shits and giggles. We'll take the Peugeot out on the French Alps. And we'll take the we'll take the uh, the scorpion, not the scorpion. Screw the scorpion. The super blower. 
out on the uh, out on the test track. How's that sound for this? Uh... Yeah, how about that? Test track short, which is uh, for, uh, I think I've run some laps in this in the touring car, so I, I feel like I can I can handle expert. All right. So, uh, oh, there's no downforce. So what the hell am I even doing here, right? Quali. Oh, yes, there's a dirt section to this as well. It's ridiculous. You get off a Super Dave surprise hill, and then all of a sudden, oh, right, camera. It's a bad time to remember camera while you're going to turn one of your quali lap. One shot qualifying. Oh, there's the chicane from the long test track. And that leads you to Super Dave Surprise Hill, because you can't see what's over this hill. And then you cut down. And whereas the long track takes you through that hairpin, this one takes you through the dirt and across the line. Just under 29 seconds, man. Quick laps here at uh, Short Test Circuit. Did I miss a turn? Did I cut the track or something? Every, because everyone... Everyone, you're outside of. It's not just that you're outside 107 percent. It's like you're outside of 140 percent. I mean, that is dangerously close too. Uh, what's uh, another half of 29? It's 14 and a half. So, oh, Turnbull is just inside the 150 percent. But everyone else, everyone, everyone gets the Mahavir Ragunathan seal. This is expert. Everyone gets the seal of excellence. Everyone! Like, what, what did I miss here? Like, what went wrong? Like, there's gotta be a glitch or something. I mean, they're going to be right on my ass for this entire race. Don't get me wrong. Five laps, expert difficulty. Did I accidentally send it to, like, easy difficulty or something? I must have accident. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Nope, quit, quit. I set it to the wrong... I, s I must have set it to the wrong difficulty, hang on. Okay, we're all gonna sit here and watch me do this again. Five laps, normal difficulty. Yes, continue. Continue. Novice standard expert. Experts blinking yellow still. It was before, but I, I'm I since we know because it defaults to your last location, uh, or the last last place you've had your cursor, we know that it was on expert. I'm gonna qualify again because I was on the pole. I was on the pole. I was on the pole despite the fact that I had spent the first turn changing my camera. Clip the grass, it got a little slippy there. Now we'll see if we can beat our 29-1. Oh, 01, sorry. It'll be close, but not quite. Off by half a second. Yeah, 13 seconds off the pace. I mean, they got faster at least. But at the same time, it's like, what the hell? At least two cars are within 150% this time. Okay, so at least we know both times it's not... Well, there's probably a glitch in the difficulty of the AI or something, but... We know it's not that I accidentally set it to novice and that was it. So five laps on expert... I hear these guys just get glitched on this track. Is that the? Is that it? Woo! Because I'm holding it flat. Should we take? Like, is there a pit pit lane we can do here? I can. Like, I've already pulled out like. A it was 21, almost 22 seconds at the first, at that split. And it's like, if I just go off that way a bit, can I... 
pull off to the side or something, just like. Okay, Oop. I'm a, it's a, it's very slick right now. Hang on a second. Quit race. Yeah, race again. Why? Because I mean, honestly, I'm I feel like I'm stalling a bit. But just like skip the quality, go to the race. If I'm gonna be that much faster than him, let's just start shotgun and do it. All right, expert difficulty, five laps, last to first challenge, and we're already halfway there. We'll breathe a throttle as... Oh, everybody's just going to Bristol it through turn one. Uh, Bristol, Tennessee, not Bristol, England. I was going to say the, uh, the... I knew there was somebody up me. See, now you're in the pack. It gets more dangerous. All right. Up to fourth. A good start to the day. One lap down and see if he can outbreak. Into turn one, and we do. Was that Hicks behind us? Not to be confused with Twitch iRacing legend Brian Hicks. Wow, that's why it's uh, that's why it feels a little weird, because there's a car in my uh, in the ass of my car. And that's why I kicked the leg out of your leg. However, all this chaos of disarray has lost me some time from the lead pack. Elevation change, you gotta be careful there. But of course, we've quickly caught up because we are like about half a lap faster than these guys in qualifying. We got that Maldonado single lap pace. Although it looks like we also have that Maldonado race pace right now. Now, if I could get in front of everyone and hold them all up, then I would have that Vitaly Petrov race pace. Goddamn Vitaly Petrov. Good defensive driver, though, apparently, if I remember the 2010 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Now, we're coming on to the last lap. Not the Murray Walker last lap, but one, but the actual final lap. A little faster than me coming out of there, but... We're gonna send it! Oh, send it! A little slick through there. One last time up Super Dave Surprise Hill. Get a little squirrely at the top of the hill. I mean, it's tricky because you can't see what's over that hill. That's the first. Let's go. Hey, Tiff may not approve of cheat mode, but... Uh, it's not like I made the car any faster or them any slower. In fact, we set them to the hardest difficulty. Still kick their ass. Now, what did I say our last one was going to be? Five laps... It was going to be, uh, you know what? Let's just do the Peugeot. Let's, let's just rip the band-aid off and do the goddamn Peugeot. Liveries look the same, don't they? Uh, let's go, yeah, let's do the damn Peugeot. It has more power than the, uh, yeah, it has more power than the Laguna. And it has extra cylinder, too. Maybe it's the extra cylinder that screws it all up. Anyway, let's go take the... French car around the French Alps. We'll take a, oh, it's a, uh, that's interesting. One and a half mile, uh, one and a half mile, well, one, basically a one and a half mile track. And the fastest lap is a buck 29 in a touring car. By Ed. Standard, I don't know the track. All right, so we're gonna qualify, so that way I know where the hell I'm going. I don't read the number 11 this time, we've been 12, now we're down to 11. I'd say we're moving on up, but we are driving a Peugeot. Probably didn't need to break there, but... Going uphill. I'm just keeping it flat. Because this thing is just... We haven't needed any brakes yet, but I can see... Whoop. Yeah, that one was obviously slow. 
What an interesting track. It's just so twisty. A back in and on itself. Up at the top of the hill. I think this is where the climb ends and the descent begins. Now here's the problem. This is a blind turn, so I have no idea. It felt like I had gotten the car on two wheels there. So, we'll see. We're coming back towards Grand Stand, so we are probably close to the end of the lap. We'll try and hold it flat through this turn here. Charge it towards the finish line, and there we go. One lap around Alpine Climb. I like that it actually is a climb. And we managed to score Paul. That ain't too shabby in a goddamn Peugeot. Hell, it was a shock. Didn't the Peugeot qualify top five once? And I was like, oh my god. And Bent Cliff and Stone Dead, which probably goes to show how much I impacted the championship when we did that. All right, here we go. Five laps at Alpine Climb. Not Alpine, that's a car manufacturer. It's light up, and... What position am I in? <laughs> I was gonna say, I didn't see half the field go by me. Oh, there's Thompson. Oh, Thompson just punted me onto the grass. There's Dave on the inside. There's Ant on the, in on the outside, putting me into the... Man, these guys are aggressive. Well, I know, touring car drivers. What do you expect, right? I see a Volvo in the rear mirror. The problem is you want to be aggressive, but the thing is, you know, these guys are just going to muscle you out of the way. Top of the hill. And here we go. The charge down begins. There's Ricard Rydell in the rear view mirror. Break at the 50. Slide up the inside of Plato. Slide, maybe scythe would be a better word. So we're going to come back towards the pit lane. The front straight. Two Nissans are looking at battling there. Got the second behind Reed and Jason Plato's apparently a ghost car because he didn't trip the timing and scoring. Actually, I know that's a lie. When, Jason, when you run into Jason Plato in this game, the only thing that doesn't happen is him ghost through you. Trust me, I know that from experience. Might have chopped that one a little fine. As we continue our twisty hill climb. A philosopher Plato is. Oh no, he's. Oh no, there he is. Look at all the damage on Hypercard. Look at all the damage on that damned Renault. Oh, there's Anna Menu. We're gonna take Plato around the outside. We're on. We are on the left three wide there. We gotta be careful because Rydell's. Oh, no, there he is. He survived. We all survived. I was so busy looking at him, I got a shitty exit, so he's gonna be on the inside for this. There he goes. The circuit is not exactly playing to my strengths. Oh, no. I get a little too cautious when I see these guys blowing up in front of me because I'm trying not to punt them. Shouldn't have taken it wide there. Should have just held the inside. We're starting to lose ground to Ricard. I just feel, I feel like I'm uh, Vitaly Petrov at this point. I'm not going to end on as strong a note as we began. But we'll try to at least salvage something here. 
little touch of Rydell. We'll hold station right behind him. Try and get that slipstream. Nope. Should have taken some... Should have taken some downforce out of this thing. I'm getting that feeling. It is set fast lap, so that's a plus. We'll try and take... Yep, yeah, we took him around the outside. Got a ticket for the long way round. Two bottles of whiskey for the way. Whoa. Clip that curb, spun it out. I have to give Rydell a little room. Well, we'll try anyway. As so we come to the crest of the hill. That's the end of the climb, and now begins the Alpine descent. Now he's trying to take a look at the long way around. I managed to destroy all of their races uh, in one corner. Nope. Overcooked it. For some reason, I was thinking uh, Snetterton. I was just thinking, yep, flat. I'm fine. Don't know why I was thinking that, but... As we come up to... The final lap, L1, L1, L1. Oop, I didn't break. I let off the throttle there. And it kind of set me into a half spin. As we charge up the hill. I'm looking in the mirror. I do not want to hit that uh, look behind you button. Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. That's all I need to know. If I blink, they're going to be in the cockpit of my car, so. Uh, if objects in mirror are closer than they appear, then yes. Uh, oh, see? That's how That's how much closer they are than the mirror. Well, dive it up the inside of Rydell. Another championship battle. Redux. Spin it a little bit off that curb, which will make things difficult. I gotta really get a good run out of the last corner. Now here's where we look at the back so we can just block him a treat. Hey, I'll take fifth. That wasn't that wasn't so bad. I think it was entirely because I was driving a Peugeot though. And here's a look at your race results. Thompson picks up a win, not too not too bad, a little on the surprising side. You figure Clellan, Leslie, and Reed would have definitely given him a run for his money, but... Well, you would have thought that uh, Rydell and the two Renos would have as well, but I kind of had the measure of them barely. In a Peugeot. And Tim did okay for himself too, so... And then uh, both the Audis were beaten by the Fords as well, as Hoy picks up... Uh, but would that have been one championship point? So, so yeah, that'll uh, that'll be it for this episode of Toka Two Touring Cars. Next time out, next time out. Skip ahead. So we've done Alpine Climb. We've done a bunch of tracks. We have not done Donington Grand Prix. We have not done Wilton International, and we've not done Test Track Erval. So we've got. Uh, Two Grand Prix circuits and an oval to do. Of course, it's the same oval as the long track, so... I know what I want to do for that. And it'll just be chaos and disarray, I think. Probably. Almost certainly. And we will see that in action next time on Toka 2 Touring Cars. But until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Share on social media. Follow on social media. The social media handle is on silent on air. And that is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget you can check out more Toka 2 Touring Cars in the playlist. It's on the screen in the description down below. More videos need to I'm on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe. And we will see you next time.